In the last episode, we enjoyed the extraordinary beautiful sailing ground around Marseille, and now Corsica has been our aim for a while. We planned to departure for the overnight sail from the area of Yer that would allow us to also receive Pokerol, an island I recalled as a little tropical hideaway. We have a little bit of rain this morning. We are going to make uh, an attempt to go to Pokerol. I've been uh, aiming for Pokerol for about a week now, but the weather has really not been in our favor. But now we are kind of close. We actually went there yesterday. This did not go as <laughs> planned. So we are at uh, Pokerol, which we were so excited about and it's super, super beautiful. But uh, we felt like the anchorage was not protected enough. There were some boats there, but we decided to go over to the mainland, which is uh, only about two miles. So now we are in a calm, nice bay, waiting out the, the wind that was this evening and this night. Being in the Mediterranean in the summer, we were a bit spoiled with good weather, something that now had rapidly changed. Boat of the boat left the anchorage, and so did we. Pokerol were really not made justice by this cloudy, rainy day, but the tropical island feeling were there, maybe even more since the high humidity. So we got to see Pokerol, but the winds were still not favorable to make the leap to Corsica, and neither to stay, so soon we found ourselves in a different environment. We are in uh, Nice, uh, among all the super yachts, <laughs> it's quite funny fact actually. There was not a place we intended to go. Uh, we've been on our way to Corsica for about a week now, but we have no success. So we chose to go up to Nice instead, even though we wanted to sail south or uh, east, not north. Uh, but I think we quite enjoy this place. We are going to go ashore and uh, have a look at uh, all those uh, fancy boats around me. And it seems like an actually really pretty part of the town here. I've been to Nice before and didn't quite like it then, but uh, I feel better about it already. The main reason to stop here was to pick up Amanda, since we had now realized we would not make it to Corsica before she would come to sail with us. And now we could at least be next to the airport. Some other sailors had told us about Menton, only a few miles away. This town was something extra and made the perfect mainland departure place. Det måste ju vara här kommer det lite parking. When we were finally on our way, I didn't more than say I hoped for dolphins. That is Adam. After some initial motor sailing, we got the wind and could enjoy a calm, nice passage accompanied by a lovely, colorful sunset. We have arrived at Corsica after a almost 24 hour sail here. 
It was a really beautiful sail. The sea was very calm and uh, we got some wind eventually. We could sail from the start and then we had to motor in the afternoon and early evening, but then the wind picked up again. So we anchored uh, a little bit outside our Calvi and it's a really spectacular landscape. It's really high rocks and uh, it's, it's also a bit green and lush. So really look forward to go ashore. Uh, but first you're gonna have a little bit of rest. It's always uh, a little bit tiring of sailing nights, even though we had Amanda with us this time. So we were three persons on sharing the night watches, which makes it uh, a little bit easier, but uh, still a bit tired. Do you like your cave? Yeah, um, I am uh, going to move in here. I think I will have a, a painting here, maybe kitchen back there. And this will be the sleeping quarters. I think it's quite cozy. Corsica appealed to us from the first moment. The water, the landscape, the weather, everything was perfect, as I had hoped for. And that was only our first day. We had dropped the anchor a little bit outside the Calvi, and next day we took the chance to see the town. They held a lot of charm and a well-managed marina. But we came mainly with a wish for the perfect secluded beaches. And even if the town beach was nice, we had to go a little further to find the truly awesome place. I think this is the the prettiest place we've been in a very very long time. Yeah, it's absolutely lovely. And uh, this morning it was completely calm. Now it's a little bit windy and we were the only boat in the bay.
felt they could have stayed forever in this bay, but Corsica had more to see. We try to sail out of anchor when possible, so we avoid this short start and stop. And normally we do that by hoisting the main and letting the sheet so loose so the sail cannot fill with the wind, even if the boat is swinging a bit when pulling up the anchor. We slowly slid through the water, wing on wing, towards the sheltered bay of Saint Florian. After this beautiful evening, we said goodbye to Amanda and set sails north. Our last stop at Corsica we made outside Port de Centuri, and also this little town was adorable and extremely picturesque with lots of small fisher boats. To no surprise, the whole port was lined up by fish and lobster restaurants. Of course, we had only scratched the surface of this fourth biggest island of the Mediterranean by sailing on the northwest side, but we adored it and loved to come back. I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.